Guess what? Today is the Room of the Month Makeover Reveal, and I am going to give you a full tour of my teen son's bedroom makeover. I am going to show you all of the projects, all of the details, and give you a full tour. If you like fixer-uppers, if you like DIYing and home decor projects, you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the end of this video because I am going to share with you some exciting news. Let's take a quick look at the before of my son's bedroom. It's important when doing a room makeover that you make a list of the things that you're lacking or things that aren't filling your current, fulfilling your current needs. And in this room, it was originally shared by both of my boys. And when they split up, there was no longer a need for such a large dresser. This is a dresser definitely for two people. Another need were to have some hooks for his hats, which... Um, he's lacked a place for his hat, so this, he just has them sitting on his dresser. His wall really needed to be painted because there was scratched up from bunk beds that were originally had here. He had random decor on his walls that was unorganized. This little wooden cabinet was not his style, not the colors he liked, and so we painted it black. We moved this shelf into his closet to use it for more storage um, because it just was sitting in his room and it just was an eyesore. <laughs> You can kind of see it's just a hodgepodge of hodgepodge of different decor with no real rhyme or reason. And we wanted to definitely change this up, make it more organized and really a cool place for him to hang out with his friends. Now, in case you didn't see the first video, this is the inspiration board that we made. We're going for kind of an urban downtown bedroom with a brick wall accent, some neon lights, and lots of black accents. Now, before I show you the reveal, I want to make sure that you don't miss out on my friend's Room of the Month makeovers. This challenge is hosted by Heidi Sambel, and there are six of us sharing our room makeovers. So you're going to want to make sure that you check the link down below in my description box so that you can go to the next video in our series. Now for the reveal, come on in his room. Right away you can see that we did replace the carpet. We painted the walls a really nice deep gray color and we added a brick wall accent. This desk was a desk that I bought from Walmart and we added some color changing neon lights because they reminded me of like New York City at night. We also got him a new desk chair, which was from Amazon. Now my son's um, nickname is Nehi. So you can see here that he has his own little collection of Nehi sodas. I really wanted to let him decorate some of his space. So he set up his desk the way he wanted. This end here, he painted himself. Now these lights change. This is a remote control for his lights. They can do like different colors. They can flash. We did get him some new bedding and it was from Home Goods. We also got the blanket from Home Goods. Now, this was a clearance canvas, black and white canvas, of a downtown landscape that we picked up from Pier One. And this metal geographic piece we found at TJ Maxx, also on clearance. We weren't really sure what it was or what we would do with it at the time, but we thought it would look so cool in his room. And we love it. We hung it from the ceiling and we put some lights on it. Now this is the same wooden cabinet. He just painted it black and added his special little touch with his own stickers on the top. It's a nice little cabinet for him to hide away all of the little things that he would want near his bed. 
and my husband built these shelves we just used some scrap wood that we had in the garage and I ordered these black um, brackets offline and I will have anything linked that you could order online I will link it down below in the description box in case you're interested and this is basically the hodgepodge of stuff he had all over his walls in a nice spot above his bed and it's much neater Another need he had in his room was for some privacy for his windows. So we got him some black blackout curtains. We picked up this chair from Home Goods and the lamp we got from, I believe it was Walmart. Now, when we were putting up the brick paneling, we found out that the ceiling is not straight. So to hide the gap, we got a little piece of trim molding and just painted it black. And I am so glad we did because it looks really, really good. It gives it a nice clean edge at the top. Another big change that we did in his room is we painted his closets a matte black, which I think looks really, really good. And here is the dresser. If you saw in, our, in the last video, he remade this dresser and painted it and sanded it himself. Then we took the little gold knobs that it came with and we spray painted them with a metallic silver. This was a free dresser, you can't beat free. We added these wood frames to kind of bring some more of the wood on this side of the room and his NBA poster that he wanted. And yes, he has a mini fridge. It was his older sister's fridge from when she was in college and he took it over. He does keep some drinks and some candy in there. Now these hooks on the wall were actually the same hooks that I used in his room when he was a little boy. We weren't utilizing them and it used to be blue. We painted it black, the same black as the closet doors. Now he hangs his hats on there and his jackets so he has a place to store stuff. And we, he already had this mirror in his room. It was gray and he spray painted it black and added his stickers onto it. He loves how his rooms turned out, and we did this whole makeover on a strict budget. And I definitely feel like we got the vibe we were going for in this room. I would love to know what you think of this room, and if it inspired you in any way, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. really appreciate that you guys stay tuned to the end for my news. So we are moving. I know we just made over my son's bedroom. This is probably a few months old actually when we finished his room because we knew we were moving so we were trying to get it done fast. But we are moving and we bought a fixer upper and I've already done the entire tour of the fixer upper and explained some of the big projects and the little projects that we plan to do in the new home and I'm gonna be sharing with that with you in the next couple weeks. So I wanted to share that news with you. We are moving out of this house. It's kind of a bittersweet time for us as a family, but we are excited to make this new home ours. And if you wanna join me on that journey, please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the future videos of our new Fixer Upper.